Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. First we have to open a new bot. Make a reference diagram as a thrust bearing. Follow the reference diagram and the dimensions. In this video we have created thrust bearing. It is one of the part of crane hook pulley block assembly. So first we have to select a plate which you want to sketch. Make it to the normal view. Then we have to draw a center axis which is most necessary for a revolve feature. Then we have to draw a circle, give the dimension based upon requirement as per the reference drawing. Then we have to draw a center rectangle. Give the center rectangle and give the corresponding dimension as per your requirement. You have to give the dimensions with the reference to the center axis. After giving the dimension, there is a gap between a circle and a rectangle. So we need to delete the dimension of a circle which we give previously and make the circle must be a tangent to the rectangle. So select a tangent. After selecting a circle and here, line of a rectangle, okay, the circle must be a tangent here. After that, you have to draw a center axis for references. After drawing the center line, we need to draw one more center line here. Then we have to use a mirror entities. Select a center axis is to be mirror about it, another center axis. Then click OK. After that, we have to use a dream entities. We have to delete the unwanted line segments here by using the power trim. After trimming, there is a open corners is found here. So we need to close all the open corners by using the line option. We need to close all the open corners. If the line is extended, you need to trim it. Likewise, you have to close the two more open corners by using the line option. After making a close corner, just exit the sketch, go to the future. Use a revolve boss, select a revolve boss option with corresponding to our sketch. Select our center line for the axis of revolution, then click OK. After that, you have to select a mid plane of the thrust bearing, make it to the section view. Then we have to select a mid plane, go to the sketch, make it to the normal view. Here we have to draw a circle. Select a circle and draw it. And specify the dimension for a circle. Here yes, 17 mm. Then we have to draw a center line here to convert the circle into a semicircle. Then we need to trim the unwanted entities here. Now the semicircle is created. You have to just exit the sketch, go to the future, select a revolve boss option. After selecting a revolve boss option, you have to select a center axis of revolution. Select a center line and then click OK. 
the body is created here after that exit the sketch then we need to make a circular pattern of ball here so go to the feature select a circular pattern option select a parameter as a outer circle then you have to select a feature to be pattern is a revolve make sure the number of instances specify with equal spacing then we have to give the color for a good appearance of the thrust bearing so select our corresponding features and give the color for the aesthetic look Our channel have a containing assembly of the bearing also here. So due to the lack of dimension if we create a block assembly, we have created a bearing in a single pot. If you need a assembly, refer our channel. Then we have to save the component for the use of crane hook pre-block assembly. So go to the file and save a component at a corresponding location for a future usage. We are creating a component as per the dimension. At last, we have to save the component. Watch our channel continuously subscribe to regular updates.